Let's talk about journal entries and inline editing for NetSuite. Some of the tricks here will help you quickly edit journal entries and save time. So let's start with the journal entry list. Log on to NetSuite under Transactions, Financial, Make Journal Entries, and List. So here's a view of the list of journals, and it shows the various columns that we've selected to be shown, and it removes some of the columns that we don't want. So in our case, we wanted the internal ID, the date, the memo, the document number, the name, the account, the status, the currency. So we can always change what's shown at the top. We can see more columns or we can see fewer columns. So here's how we can sort the journals. If you focus in on it, you can see the date. We can sort by date by clicking on it. We can have the most recent first. So you click again on the little arrow. And if you click it another time, it will sort, resort, reversing order. So you can have the oldest journals first or the newest first. Internal ID is another one that has a number that can go from low to high. Even if someone uses a different date, we can know, we can sort and find the ID number in sequence. So what is inline editing? So this edit notch is for the inline editing right here in the green checkbox. If it's turned on, we can then actually click on various items inline, meaning immediately right there. We don't have to go back to the original transaction to change it. We can actually just click into the memo field and change the words immediately. This saves time so that we don't have to go back to the original journal entry to edit it. As soon as you click out of the edits that you make here, it will be saved immediately. So you can see here that when we did the editing from the previous slide and we put it to memo one, now when we're in the actual journal entry, you can see that the memo has now been changed to memo one and we didn't have to go back to the original navigation bars to get to this journal entry and make that particular change.